So if you follow my Twitter, you've probably heard this news a little bit early. But if you haven't, the general news of it is that North Wilkesboro Speedway will be reopening. And this might not be that big of news when it doesn't have anything to do with the major three NASCAR series. But the thing is, is that this track has been closed for so long that any news of it coming back in any way is really, really, really good news. So I'm going to read off right here what was broken earlier. Now, if there's any changes, future me will come back in and give a little bit of a take. But right now, I want to read this off. The bit of writing is on North Wilkesboro's website. I took a screenshot on my Twitter account. It says, Grassroots Racing returns to North Wilkesboro Speedway with the racetrack revival in August and October. This, of course, being broken out today. In the midst of revitalizing historic North Wilkesboro Speedway, Speedway Motorsports will bring grassroots racing back to the fame 0.625 mile short track or 5 eighths of a mile short track in August and October of 2022. Officials announced today at a press conference at Bristol Motor Speedway. Produced by XR Events, Racetrack Revival will be a multi-week grassroots racing event featuring multiple series on the current North Wilkesboro asphalt in August. Then, following the removal of the pavement, Racetrack Revival will return for several weeks in October on dirt before a repave takes place in 2023. Now, this is huge right now. One, this has happened before, so I get this being a bit of a letdown. People will think, well, it's just late models maybe or something like that, but you have to put it in perspective of the state of the Speedway before this was announced. North Wilkesboro Speedway has been closed and really seemed to be in disrepair for about a decade. I know that I had lost complete faith that it would ever come back and looks like I've been proven wrong. But when you look at the plan, it really opens up a lot of things. One, they're going to race in the old pavement, which is pretty cool to see. But coming back and racing on dirt means that in a way... The track can test out what kind of racing might work for different audiences. Maybe dirt racing is the way to go with North Wilkesboro and they wouldn't have to do the planned repave and maybe save more money and put it towards something else. But the big, big, big detail that everyone needs to look at is the fact that it will be repaved in 2023 from the looks of it. That is huge because in my opinion, they would not spend this kind of money if there wasn't going to be some big national series coming. Now, the SRX has talked about coming to North Wilkesboro. It was something they wanted to do this year, but ultimately it didn't work out that way. But you also might be able to have the truck series, similar to what Rockingham had in 2013 and 2014, or maybe the Xfinity series if it got really big, or if the movement got big enough behind it and Marcus Smith and SMI were down to do it, you could maybe even have an argument that the Cup Series could come in a couple of years. I would say that that is probably asking too much. If we even got the Truck Series there by 2024, I think that would be a huge win. But seeing how there's racing in general at the track, that in and of itself is the huge win, and people need to not lose sight of that. But I will say right now that when I talk about the North Wilkesboro Speedway, when any of us talk about the North Wilkesboro Speedway, we need to keep it realistic. This track has not raced a national series since 1996. The last time that there was national series racing on this racetrack consistently, I and many other people in the NASCAR sphere were not even born yet. So to have it slowly but surely build itself back up is the best way to do this. We saw what happened with Rockingham when the truck series went there in 13 and 14. It just didn't work. So that is something that people need to keep in mind. I know it seems like a letdown. I know that people online have hyped this up. It's going to be one of the biggest announcements in a long time, but that's just not how this thing can probably go successfully. They could probably bring the cup series there, have the track completely under repaired, have it not ready yet, and then have it be a catastrophic failure on all counts. Or they can do it the right way, slowly build up the track, and one day when the track, the area, the sport, everything is ready, bring it back and do it right. So 
I got to say, I really respect that because SMI has shown they've tried to do quick fixes before. I mean, we're at Bristol this weekend and they did that with Bristol in 2012, thinking that they could just, oh, grind the top of the track and it'd make everything better. I think if fans really want to help in any way that they can, the big way is to show up at the track. Show up in August if you can. Show up in October for the dirt race if you can. Show these series that you are serious about bringing this track back. For instance, the SRX, they've shown a lot of interest. Let them know on social media, hey, 2023, if it's possible, let's race there. Because I would think that depending on when they do have the repave, you could really see the SRX race there, depending on how late in the season for the SRX season it is, maybe how many races they have. They might have more. Who knows? You might be able to see uh, ARCA race there, one of the, the regional series. Show up in any way you can to show them that you want this track to stay because they opened up their doors in the late 2000s, early 2010s, around that time. I don't remember for sure, but they opened up their doors again and there wasn't enough hype generated behind it, for lack of a better word. So if people can show up, can give support, can do everything they can, and SMI can hold up their end of the bargain, I think long term, this is a really, really good and really probably profitable moment for the sport. This also represents is a bit of healing for NASCAR towards its fan base. It's no joke, it's no mystery whatsoever that NASCAR has lost a lot of its popularity, especially since North Wilkesboro left the sport. It didn't fall off completely because of this, but it was a compounding factor. And I'm not saying that I think bringing North Wilkesboro back in any capacity is gonna revive the sport. There's a long way to go to fix the sport to make it the level even close to what it was at the early 2010s. But what I'm saying is that it's a good showing of meeting in the middle. NASCAR and SMI didn't have to do anything with North Wilkesboro. They could sell off the land, let it rot, do whatever they wanted with it. They didn't have to revitalize this track. They didn't have to push for the state government to give millions of dollars for revitalization. So this is something that I think a lot of old school fans can say, hey, you know what? We've been listened to. And from what it sounds like, they're not going to have it on dirt long term. It's going to come back in basically its original and kind of updated original form and that is something that should not be lost sight of here at first when i saw it i was like that's it that's the announcement and i was honestly kind of let down but the more in depth i thought about it the more excited i got because it is a step i can't say that enough it is a step to something far greater now with me saying all of that you probably have tons of opinions as well. So let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about the possible revitalization of North Wilkesboro Speedway? Let me know down there. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. Thank you to all of my channel members for your continued support. And until next time, have a good one.